I just thought I'd pop on to quickly read you a story. Now this is my favourite story as class five already know. And I thought it was quite appropriate at the minute because I think some people are feeling a little bit worried. So my story is called Ruby's Worry. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. And she loved to explore wild faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. Oh, I've got a visitor. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day it got a little bit bigger. Look, can you see it's getting bigger? It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box. And it was still there at night when she cleaned her teeth. Oh, look how grumpy Ruby looks. The worry's following her. The funny thing was, no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. No one else can see that Ruby's worrying. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Oh, look, it's even followed her to the swings. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realise, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Ruby was worrying about her worry. Now, the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at tea time and it filled up half of the school bus. And it took up whole rows at the cinema. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Ruby's feeling really sad now. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt, sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? Can you see? Looks a bit like Ruby's, doesn't it? It was. Ruby realised that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind and as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Can you see, look, his worry's getting smaller. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it as the words tumbled out. Ruby began, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Can you see the worries getting smaller and flying away? Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course. That wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. I love this story so much because it sets a perfect example of what you should do when you're worried. If you're ever worried, talking about it makes them go away much 
quicker. I love this story. I hope you enjoyed it and I will be back on soon to read you another one of my favourites. Thanks for watching.